the first Frenchman, the first Irishman and the first Argentinian all won their Open Championships here. Royal Liverpool has a unique history. Hoyling, home of Royal Liverpool. The second oldest seaside links in England after Royal North Devon. Nine holes laid out here in 1869 on a race course owned by the Liverpool Hunt Club. Another nine added two years later. Uh, we've been a pioneer club since the club or golf began here at Hoylake in 1869. First English professional championship was played here in 1872. Uh, first amateur championship was played here in 1885. The first international match between England and Scotland was played here in 1902. Uh, and the forerunner of the Walker Cup was played here between Great Britain and Ireland and the United States in 1921. Given these strong links with the amateur game, it was, appropriately enough, an amateur and a member of the club who won Hoylake's first Open Championship in 1897. Harold Hilton became one of only three amateurs ever to win the Open, following fellow Royal Liverpool member John Ball and preceding the great Bobby Jones. Jones won the Open here in 1930. It was the second leg of what was to become the only Grand Slam of all four majors in the history of the game. In between Hilton and Jones, there had been another Hoylake first in 1907, when Arno Massey became the first non-Briton to win the Open. In fact, he's still the only Frenchman ever to win a major championship. He was so thrilled, he named his daughter Hoylake. Fred Daly became the first Irishman to win the Open when he triumphed here in 1947. Nine years later, the first Australian winner of the Open, Peter Thompson, came here and claimed the only hat-trick of victories of the 20th century. Since then, there have been only two Opens staged at Hoylake. 44-year-old Roberto Di Vincenzo of Argentina, beloved by the British, leads in the final day of play. 1967, the first and only South American winner. Well, it's not so easy, very difficult. Huh? I got to play a very clever boy. Not so easy to pick the boy, you know? Very young, got to play as 20 years younger than myself. He was a fantastic golfer. Uh, very warm personality, great for golf, and I'll never forget playing the, the uh, 16th hole. He put that ball over the out of bounds with a draw right onto the green uh, to the people's delight and uh, went on to win. After a gap of nearly 40 years, the Open returned in the intense heat of 2006. Tiger's brilliant exhibition of strategy and disciplined Lynx golf saw him use his driver just once in the entire tournament. Hoylake um, demonstrated traditional Lynx golf in its, in its raw form. I mean, the fairways were almost white. I think it is in better shape than it was in, in 2006. Um, we've made a few subtle changes to it since 2006. A little bit of extra, extra length has been added. Uh, not a great deal, uh, but it's subtlety really. Its edges of greens have been, have been reshaped. Uh, runoffs have been developed. Um, so, so slightly trickier pin positions can be uh, can be enforced. I think what we've done is very, very small changes, you know, there's one, one green complex has been changed. So we're here, this is the championship first. This is where significant changes have taken, certainly, to the, the <laughs> green complex. How would you describe it? Yeah, it's going to be a tough opening hole. I think that's probably the main thing with the hole. It's, it's a long, narrow green. It's going to be, probably for these guys, you'd assume in, in normal weather conditions like today, it's probably going to be a mid-iron for these guys. Now, a mid-iron coming into a, a firm, firm, hopefully fast green uh, with a narrow entrance is going to be a test to start with. What would you consider to be the real test to this Hoylake course? I think through the history, it's always been a long test. You know, it's always been a, a long golf course. Um, the, 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 the sort of flatter expanse at this end of the golf course is really about the, the wind blowing. You know, that, that is the difficulty, you know, there's many comments have made about the mighty winds of Hoylake and things, and, and that is what Hoylake's all about. Tiger gave a scorched Lynx masterclass in 2006. Everyone here eagerly awaits his return after injury, along with maybe a typical Hoylake wind to stiffen the test a little. And perhaps yet another Royal Liverpool first.